Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning about how to test the performance of the APIs within the Postman. So let's begin. Postman is coming up with a new feature to test the performance of the APIs within the Postman. This feature is not yet released but still if you want to learn about this feature, if you want to explore this feature, simply what you need to do is that you need to go to this Postman Canary, you need to download this one. This is an other product by the Postman and what this Postman Canary is that if you want to be the first in line to experience the new features in the Postman app, you need to download this Canary Builds. So these Canary Builds are designed for the early adopters and it may break because it's under the beta version right now so simply you need to go and download this postman canary and once you have downloaded this one you can open the postman login and sign up this one and you can explore the performance thing so this one is already downloaded on my system but let me show you simply go down here you can download it as per your operating system so it is available for the mac for windows for the linux as well so if you go down here it will work side by side so if you have already postman on your system it will not impact that one but at the same time you have a different postman which is postman canary and it will be in the blue color like this one so if i go here and let me show you this one so if i type here search for the postman in my system so you will see that i have the two postmen one is postman canary and the other one is the postman simple one so it will work together so simply i'm opening this one here and let me show you how this performance uh, things work so basically in the look and feel and everything would remain same because this is the same postman but here you will be experiencing the beta features so simply what we need to do is that you need to open any of your collection so let me open any of my collection here in the runner so simply go here in the three dots click on run collection and once this collection will be open here you will find two options one is the functional and other you will find this performance option just click on performance option here and you will see that this is under the beta right now and if you want to learn and explore more about this one just click on this one here and there's a complete pdf available where they have described step by step how to use this feature you have to create the collection you have to run the collection you have to enter the number of virtual users then you have to define the test duration load profile you have two two types of load profiles available right now one is fixed and ramp up so the difference between fixed and ramp up is that the number of virtual users you specified is the throughout the test and ramp up means it will be ramping up gradually throughout the defined period of the time so when you are ready then we can begin our run and it will start the run so this is how it will look like here and if i scroll a bit down here you will see that once it will be start executed you will see these kind of graphs in terms of the performance and you will be getting the details of each api endpoint total number of requests requests per second response time minimum maximum time 90th um, millisecond and percent of error as well this is uh, pretty much similar to the g meter where you get these kind of uh, details and uh, go down here and you will get the, all the details about what these requests per second means what this average response time means here okay so you can also customize the performance view and you can change it as per your requirement all details are provided here and you can use this as per your requirement now let me go to the postman canary here and here you see that we have to define the virtual user number task duration and fixed and ramp up and also which apis you want to test i have opened my collection and it it has two apis right now okay so what you can do is that you can select and unselect as per your requirement before i can execute this one let me open my task manager and let me go to the performance area here so 
we will be seeing that because this performance will be executed from your system so it will increase and consume your system resources so let's uh, do with the 20 virtual users and let me run it for like one minute okay and it's a fixed or maybe ramp up so ramp up will like you know it will gradually increase up to 20 and it will start from the zero minute and it will end up here with the 20 virtual users when it will reach to the one minute so that's how actually ramping up and if we talk about fix you will see this is how uh, this is the difference between both of them okay so let me run this one and see how, what it happens and how it works so it is uh, generating the things and you see as soon as i started this one it uh, you know it hit my cpu to the hundred percent because it is starting the load from my system and you will see uh, there are some failures some average response time that's okay because uh, my resources are not might not be that enough for this load test so you need to be uh, very much uh, you know aware of the resources of your system when you are actually performing a load test on the apis uh, in this particular feature so the errors might be due to the resources or the APS might also be not working so in either case so these kind of uh, things you can uh, you can debug here so uh, it's got uh, executing and it will take uh, approximately one minute because we have scheduled it for the one minute so let uh, let me stop this one here and let me run it again instead of uh, directly jumping into the 20 virtual users uh, what i'll do with this is that i will go with the ramp up here run this one and let's see so initially it's setting up the load and it touches the cpu utilization to the hundred percent here and it's preparing the run and it got failed no problem let's run this one again because this version is uh, is a beta version so you might fail if, uh, you know face the failures but it got uh, executed now so here we got 50 percent error rate and the users will gradually increase and you will see the performance here right and the benefit of uh you know seeing the performance here is that you are developing your api you're touching the apis with the postman and performance is one of the key factors you need to cater so here it will show all the details now uh, let me close this one from here and let's see as soon as it progresses you will see the details in the real time and the the graph is pretty much uh, similar to uh, you know uh, if you have experienced the jmeter so here you will see that this is a virtual users line which are increasing here very simple to understand then the yellow line means the request this is average response timeline and this line is basically an average rate and this is a timeline uh, on this axis and on this particular axis on the y-axis basically this is the error rate here and once it will be finished you will get all the details so you need to scroll down throughout your performance activity you will see at what point what was the average response time how many virtual users was there and what was the error rate so if i go here and if i click on this one so you can change the details from here minimum response time 90th or 99 or maximum as per your requirement you can also filter the request employee employee list so if you want to see the performance of only employee list you will see this if you want the other endpoint so you can see in this way if i scroll down here you will see that my both apis uh, got tested it shows the total number of requests here request per second which is throughput then we have a response time minimum maximum 90th uh, request then add a request here so that's that's how actually you can uh, test the performance of your apis within the postman this feature again is in the beta right now and if you want to explore this feature if you want to use this feature you simply need to download the postman canary you need to log in into your postman account and you can access this feature and furthermore if i go here and if i click on this one if i go to my run collection again so here you see um let me 
go here so basically what you need to do is that you can also view your previous runs here so simply go to your performance test runner here and click on all runs here so it will give you all the details here so it got executed on uh first time my 28th then my 30th and you got number of total requests duration virtual users response time error percentage so all the details you will get here even what you can do is that you can click on share you can share this one from here so simply click on share share collection you can share the details and so that people can investigate from this one so if you click on the past runs if you have to schedule runs so you can schedule uh, your runs from here and that's how actually you can work with the this this performance testing uh, within uh, the postman thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial